How are you? I hope you're doing great. I know you are all busy answering your modules and doing all the subject requirements. And I think you will all agree with me that listening to music makes our work easier and keep us from any form of stress. So today, let me help you lessen your stress as we learn new things at the same time. I am Mom Sheila, your virtual music teacher, and I want you to join me as we explore the beauty of music. For today, our target to achieve competency is analyzes musical elements of selected songs and instrumental pieces heard and performed. Maybe you are wondering why in almost everywhere there is a sound, as a music has a sound. But not all sound are music. Sound is different from a music. Sound is produced by anything that vibrates. For example, a guitar produces a sound. Your vocal cord produces a sound. A drum produces a sound. Sound produced when an object vibrates. It is different from music because music is an arranged and organized sound. I have a question. How does a music create and form? How is it become organized? Very good. It is because of the elements of music. What are the elements of music? For your information, elements of music are the building blocks that makes a music. First, melody. Melody is a series of pitches that makes a tune. Here is an example. Melody is the tune or tone you heard in a music or a song. These are a group of notes or pitches. Second, harmony. Harmony supports the melody with chords. It is also described as when two or more notes are combined to form a beautiful sound. This is an example of harmony. Next to harmony is rhythm. Rhythm is the time element of music. Together with rhythm are beat, meter, and tempo. 
which has something to do with how fast or slow a musical piece is. Let us have the beat. Beat is the pulse of the music. They say the beat is the life or blood of a music. Same with our heart, it beats and we are alive. Meter, on the other hand, are a group of beats. In music, Meter is what we see in a musical staff like 3-4 or 4-4. 3-4 is the time signature usually for dance like waltz. Counting is 1-2-3-1-2-3. And 4-4 time signature usually in marching. Next is Tempo. Tempo is how fast or slow a musical piece is. There are terms that usually describe the tempo of the music. These are Largo, very slow, Adagio, slow, Andante, at a walking pace, Moderato, medium, Allegro, quickly and bright, and presto, very fast. Tempo also gives the emotion to a music. When it is slow, it is sad. And when the music is fast, it is happy. To better understand tempo, Watch this video. Then, dynamics. Dynamics is the loudness or softness of a sound or music. There are terms that use to describe dynamics of the music, like crescendo, becoming gradually louder, fortissimo, very loud, forte, loud, peso forte, moderately loud, mezzo piano, moderately soft, piano, soft, pianissimo, very soft, and diminuendo, becoming gradually softer. Let us listen on this video. There you have it, the dynamics. A sound that may be in soft, moderate, loud, or very loud. And the next one is spelled as P, I, M, B, 
R E. How do you pronounce this word? Others pronounce it as timbre. But the right pronunciation is tumbler. Tumbler is the unique quality of a sound or instrument. Our voices are different from each other, same as with uh, the musical instruments. And now, you are about to witness a musical piece produced by two different instruments with the same melody at the same time. That is all for now. The next time you will encounter questions asking you to characterize a certain music, you will not just say malungkot, masaya, nakakaiyak. Instead, you will answer it using the elements of music. Thank you, grade 8 students. I hope you have learned something from this lesson. Till next time. Again, I am Mom Sheila, your virtual music teacher, saying keep safe and bye-bye!